can't just believe where I'm going again today. <laughs> if I show you where I am currently, you'll be screaming for me. You know, you know I've had this job, first and second dose in Saudi Arabia, and currently I will be having another one today. That's the third one. <laughs> I just hope they tell me to go back that I don't need to do this, to be frank. Though I have all the certificate that suggests that I've done this, the first and second one. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm just here for another one. Let's see how it goes to the front. It's so pathetic. I don't know. England and their way of doing things, uh, they don't consider whatever that is done in a different country as valid. You know, all they recommend is something, or all they recognize is something that is done in their own country outside of Africa. Excited, more than excited that I wouldn't be. Hey, this is just a good news. Okay, we are going to the Tesco to pick one or two things. So. Okay. <laughs> hey, God, I've got a good news, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but reaching out our GP now is the problem. They don't take their calls. Yeah? We will try using my line anyway. So, guys, on getting to this place, we were assured that having had it in Saudi Arabia, there's no point for us having the third one but all we have to do is to reach out to our gp you know give them the code that's um the code for the one we had here in saudi arabia just for them to input it in their system you know so yeah so definitely <laughs> just at the laugh <laughs> oh god i know you know why i'm laughing the pain from the previous one has not healed especially my first dose since March. This is September. Yes, and I'm still suffering from the pain from my previous dose in my arm. Come off, there's a car coming. <laughs> anyway, so let's quickly get into Tesco. Get into Tesco and get some things and start going home. Uh, so we just got home now. I think uh, the thing we have to do is to look for a way um, to reach out to our GP and then, you know, get our vaccination information impute into the system nhs system you know yes though why we were coming in they never asked us for this yeah um to show the vaccination certificate some to come off the road please come off you know so we were not asked for it um since they were actually expecting us to have another one here but from what they've just told us there that there's no need even to take the booster boost boost is it bush bush sorry so from what they've just told us they've just said that there's no need even to take the booster bush bush yeah bush <laughs> is it boost or boost <laughs> sorry um, that we should just have to wait yes but then reaching out to gps here is something else we've got our gps but i think last week we've been trying to contact them because every appointment you make here is always on phone We've rang severally, you would top up Libera and you would be on call as in they will ask you to wait. You are number 10 from number 10, 9, 8 until your credit will be exhausted <laughs> and you wouldn't get the opportunity to talk to your GP on the phone. That's really ridiculous. Though I think that's something we are not currently doing right, especially um, because when you top up, it says you have... 1,000 credits, 2,000 credits to call all the UK line, whether landline or whatever line, 
and 1,000 international units for me. Unfortunately, I've not even been able to call Nigeria because there's this particular sister of mine that I've been trying to reach. She's not on social media, a cousin of mine, sorry. She's not on WhatsApp, you know, so it's been difficult for me reaching out because each time I've um, top up that Libera to reach her, and it will tell me that I do not have international units to call which is which surprises me but when i retired it says i have 1000 international units so probably there's uh, this kind of there's a code that i'm missing out to input yeah all right guys um it's sunday afternoon probably 12 noon now we just got home <laughs> i just started to finish recording this outdoors since i started it outdoor yeah all right so please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment and keep coming i apologize for not uh, been uploading in the last one week or year about yes i remember my last upload was last week sunday and today is another sunday i just hope i drop this today um the reason is because uh, i've not had internet unlimited yeah we actually paid for it but they promised us that uh, our internet would go live in 14 days time luckily to us today is the 11 yeah so in four days time you will keep seeing my uploads coming yes thank you so much for always staying connected i sincerely appreciate all your time there is a open the door yeah so back to why i said i feel like going back to saudi arabia Am I kidding? Well, I'm not kidding, sort of. Uh, why? Because um, the other day when we went out, um, you know, the way they have this free lifestyle and uh, free um, expression of uh, affections, as a public expression of affections here, you could see couples, boyfriend, girlfriend, kissing, caressing in public places, they don't care about who is watching, who is passing by. A lot of people here smoke, kids, teens, grandpas, grandmas. So the other day while we were out and about, seated somewhere, some to saw, I don't know, a couple or boyfriend and girlfriend. In fact, they were sitting right opposite us and they were busy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the thing was not just stopping. I just like every two minutes, the kids, they were seated together in a public place within the hospital premises, you know, not as if they're in a club or party place. And I don't know, I was just trying to keep something away from seeing that. And suddenly his eye went to them. You saw them. Um, <laughs> something was like, <laughs> oh my goodness. And he looked at me. I said, please. You are laughing, right? I'm not joking here. So I told my husband what was going on. He was like, please, let's leave this place right now. So we walked out of that um, scene where we were sitting. We just had to leave, you know. And this afternoon again, as we went to Tesco, we were coming back. We saw a woman. She's busty. <laughs> And you know the way women dress with this their push-up bras now. Everything she pushed up everything. <laughs> and the thing was just shaking like a dumbbell beside her. You know, as she was walking towards us, you know, we were coming towards this direction and she was coming, you know. <laughs> and Soto saw her, the way this place was dancing, Jokom, Yokom. Soto was like, who? who? He was just looking. <laughs> In fact, we were walking and he stopped. I said, please, come on, let's go. <laughs> I told the bed, you know, it was like, yeah. I was like, God help me in this country. You know, I don't know. These people, they don't care about how the kids feel. And that woman was actually working with her son. You can imagine that. <laughs> or, yeah, it should be the son. The son should be like about 10 years old or thereabouts. I said, gosh, how do I even survive in this society? Okay, I was like, in Saudi Arabia is um, where they have decent way of dressing. Um, but still, people still get carried away, especially the men. Yeah, despite women wearing hijab, abaya over there, you know, 
you have to make it very loose, not something that is tight-fitted. But men, they still get carried away, despite women dressing decently. And uh, is it decently or modestly, you know? But here, the reverse is the case. I don't really understand it. But we'll survive in this society. I think uh, it's just the best we can do is to teach him morals, yes, morals, how to overlook those things and stay sane. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like going back to Saudi Arabia. Yeah, but just I like their mode of dressing, sort of, to some extent. You know, their weather is not favorable for such kind of dressing, but it's just their religious and cultural way of dress. You know, it's better here. We will try to cope with it. Yeah. So thank you everyone for coming back to still watch my content despite me not being active because I know I've not uploaded in the last one week being that um, they said our internet is yet to go live. That's our unlimited. Yeah, it's, it's yet to go live in four days time. Today is 11th or thereabouts, so on the 16th. Yeah. Um, sorry if you have not been seeing me around. This is just the reason. You can't be doing YouTube with um, mobile internet. It's killing. It's something very annoying. Your Once you upload, is it upload? Sorry, once you top up and you get the data, mobile data, before you know it, everything just vanished. It disappears into... And it's always annoying when it happens. So that has been the reason I've not been uploading. I've not been calling up, coming around. So please forgive me, guys. Yes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and keep coming back for more videos. Thank you.